Good evening, people of, of Earth. Hello, friends. Um, I am, I'm Stewie. I just played on stream. I was on the Rocket League team. Now, um, me and uh, a friend of mine, uh, Mr. Token Minnesotan, um, I refer to him as Wyatt, but... Uh, All right. We're going to be casting some Valorant, and they've already played the first game. MSUM did fall in the first game. Um, but we have game two. Um, bear with us. This is actually my first time casting Valorant. Um, I have never casted Valorant in my life. I've casted plenty of Rocket League. Too much Rocket League, in fact. So don't be asking me to cast any Rocket League. Um, I'd rather play it. But uh, what? How you doing? I mean, I haven't done much casting. But uh, I think I got some game sense, so I'm uh, I'm definitely ready for this one, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hyped. I'm hyped to watch some Valorant. I am too. Um, to me, Valorant feels a lot like Call of Duty. Uh, That's true. That's honestly, true. That's my it, main it, game. It plays. It doesn't play the same. It's similar to CS:GO, obviously, but it does you know? I get the vibes. You know, That's I know true. what you mean. Is a lot like, well, uh, like search I mean, and destroy. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it, big it plays mode. a lot like yeah. search and destroy. And um, yeah, uh, game one was bind. They played on bind. Um, now we're getting game two. Uh, play on ban and picks. We're on ascent. Which, uh, I do know ascent a little bit. It does play as a bit of a a quicker map. I will say it goes a lot faster than bind does. Um, just mm -hmm. watching Valorant, so. Yeah, I think especially towards B site, you usually get a lot of quick stuff happening there, but so from what I remember, probably some wall bangs coming in around that site too, we'll have to see, because uh, I know DSU definitely was using some of those uh, those light machine guns uh, to kind of gauge and then just shoot through some walls in the previous game, but uh, we'll have to see uh, how the strategies roll, because you never know if uh, we might switch it up and just go aid the entire time but i, I really don't know <laughs> not this not the strat man not the strats yeah. not the stretch yeah. strats but um sum did on the first game i think it was 12 to 2 but honestly they move on from it um like i said it, it's ascent there's only match, two sites but For you, sure, you know last match. it last match was similar it was, it was kind of the same thing we didn't have a good first map and then we get to the second map and all of a sudden we're we're a bit stronger but uh, obviously msum is playing with a sub normally sherpa is on the uh is on this team he couldn't make it tonight so jaguar is stepping for him but, uh still i feel like as far as this game goes uh it's a lot harder than people think it is it's it's interesting uh, I know what you mean. For MSU, sure. MSUM goes with a Phoenix pick, which is some some people are against a Phoenix pick on ascent. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I'm just kind of gauging. I'm pretty sure we're setting up here to go B. I would Thank assume you. so. Uh, they're probably gonna try to get a pick here because they're kind of hanging out waiting for somebody to push out and then they might uh, Take sight, but yeah, they're definitely setting up defensively uh, around B site And they might play to, to the uh, DSU's aggression here. Is what it's looking like. They're really waiting for somebody uh. That's mid -hit. Yeah, <laughs> the oh my god, Carl answers back, but Carl gets two! As he finds a bit of a flank himself. I think he's still challenging. And Jibber finds one as Carl is taken out by, it looked to be a team kill. Last player standing. Jaguar finds one, one and the final character is Lunchbox. And a 1v2. He makes the, the read though, site. he knows they're going into B. Oh, bad timing. Oh, we get this. Yeah, I think he got the spot you. though. That's some Ooh. good damage though on Jibber. 30 seconds they left. Plans, but they do have the 2v1, the fake plant comes in. 25 seconds. 
Why not watching this timing when I get caught? Oh. Doesn't just punch Fox doesn't finish the kill. Jimmer gets killed and now it's a 1v1. Down, B. Health is definitely in favor of DSU here. Ten seconds left. Squared. Another fake. Doesn't find oh. it. Don't worry. That's You're close. with me. That was a good read by DSU right away to kind of head into B site and set up and I, some good damage there in the middle of it for sure. Definitely. Definitely. Obviously we're in round two already. So you did take the first one. But uh I uh still um I, f I feel like MSUM could have they definitely, they definitely more of a they momentum improve. team, oh, yeah. for yeah. sure. Yeah. I think when they they get the momentum, they're gonna they're gonna kind of full send probably, but it's tough, especially when you go down, uh, you know, a map beforehand. That can be really difficult. But uh, I mean, we've seen it in the past where they'll lose the first map and then they'll get some some crazy momentum going on the next map, and sometimes it just uh, really depends. I think. Looks like they're no full stack A this round. Um, currently, I can't really tell, but I think DSU's got three in sight, and one's trying to flank through mid, and we still have Lunchbox hanging around B site. The 4v5. DSU's gonna grouped up, and oh boy, they're gonna get pissed. Revealing A. Yeah, here comes Lunchbox. It's gonna be very helpful. That target. Yeah. Still a 2v5. They've got some good damage on, on that fade. One enemy remaining. As I say that, it's a flawless round. I think Jamila found. Three I, I want to say three or four. Yeah, three. We get some uh, MSUM point of view here. We're just gonna be stuck with lunch by <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to uh I forgot to change that up, but <laughs> yeah, it's um, alright. That's that's doing it on the fly. Try right, numbers? The numbers work? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, five through uh five through nine. <laughs> right as I snapped a Xeon. Oh boy. Yeah, he's setting up for uh, a couple ball. more. He's watching mid pretty closely here. I think these guys are kind of stuck. Well, we did get a little bit of mid control here, but Gibber, I think they're going to push. Gibber has no health. Yeah. Neither does Narwhal. The health is low. Xeon's health is low. Jet. Which health is low. Well, it says 49, but... This round is kind of slowed down. Yeah. They're, yeah, definitely. They're kind of stuck in mid, almost. It... I think they need to maybe start rotating quicker on something like this when they're kind of stuck in mid. I think they just need to... Pick a site and really just kind of oh, go. Oh, they're going like, for it. They're starting it now. They check the corner. Oh, Narwhal snaps. At least the trade comes through, left. which is good. Three v two, but the health doesn't favor them. By you the... do have a site control Last right now, standing. but Lance a tough Spike double. down A. One enemy oh, remaining. Narwhal. We won with this Phoenix, but the Phoenix has all the health in the world. Gonna camp this spike. spike Ten intrigue. seconds left. Has no clue. Oh boy, the timing's gonna be impeccable, and it is. Yeah, it's tough. That is unfortunate. I think uh, they did get sight control, but by then they waited we long enough for where DSU kind of kind of push up into their spawn, and then that way it was just an easy flank for them and pinch between you know two sides. To be honest, the the rounds have been a lot closer than. No. Yeah, definitely life-wise, there's not too many, uh, there was one flawless, uh, earlier, but, uh, the first two rounds, or, not the second round, but, uh, this last one was close, yeah, and brought it down to 1v1 with the plant down, but it was just a unfortunate timing, because they were stuck in mid so long, they couldn't really have much time to work with, because I feel like if they just rotated a little sooner, they might have put up 
a slightly better fight if he could have planted and maybe had a little bit more control of that site. Narwhal, like the timing doesn't work no out. Another A push here and there. Is just kind of sitting, waiting to try to get a pick, but I really don't think DSU is going to bite on it too much because they probably could push through B side, but they're not going to. Zoom's playing as slow as possible. Oh, does come out from Jibber. And as I say that, it looks like somebody's creeping through B and might eventually try to peek through mid. Jibber's waiting Consume for it, it, but might not Consume get good timing. Yeah, get that's unfortunate. Stun does hit, but I think it did his teammates. Last player oh, the timing is just impeccable. And another no flawless. Left. Oh, boy. That here's is... where the momentum, I think, is really switching, and they might probably benefit from really I think if they send all five into one site and just try to get that spike down as soon as possible I think that's probably a maybe a better situation to put themselves in because I think they're they're really waiting to, to push because they want the first kill for sure they definitely want that entry kill I feel like they're they're prioritizing that but right now they're just not getting it it's like they had a disconnect so they're gonna try to figure something out here or my I... I might be confused. It might have been another computer crash. I hope that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it wasn't, but. Yeah. yeah we'll have to we'll have to look into that one as I uh I'll have to ask around and see if that was the issue. I really hope it wasn't, but <laughs> that's my guess. Is that <laughs> one, one computer in the lounge never seems to want to... It's just Valorant. No it's other just games. Valorant. It's just Valorant. It's only Valorant. <laughs> but they, they can get a pause going and uh, hopefully reconnect officially so, here. So the characters, why? just to help you from... Yeah. From the far right on the MSU home side, that is Phoenix. Yeah. And the character, I, I I know the a, character a bit. to the next home is Sage. And then the next character is Kale. And it's Jet, obviously. And then it's Killjoy. And then Phoenix, Kale. Um, I believe that is. Mm, don't quote me on this. Trying to guess all these characters. No, I don't, I don't remember the new one. I don't remember the characters this next KO on on the DSU side. Uh, Astra. Nope, that is uh, a, excuse me, it is Fate? Astra on the far right. It is yeah. Astra, Sage, KO, Jet, and Killjoy. That's Astra, KO. Um, why am I blanking on that character? I believe it's Soba. It is. It's Astra, KO, Soba, Jet, and then Fade. And, uh, Fade's alt is very scary to uh, to be in, especially in game. It is it is kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. I don't think I've played much uh, against all these uh, operators, unfortunately, to know <laughs> all their alts. Yeah. Some, so, um, some of the basic ones. I, I think I remember. Watch it's just unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> Match timer is on. I believe Jaguar did PC. Still just kind of waiting around. And we're all, I think, back reconnected here, from what I see. Looks like it. MSUM's got all five. nice to be able to pause like this because it is unfortunate when disconnects happen but oh, they yep. they do happen we do enjoy the, the smiley face yep. <laughs> <laughs> there we go there's the reconnect and 
hopefully the continuation. It Here still is four to nothing. So obviously DSU has a lead, but to be fair. These rounds have been a couple were flawless. A couple uh, Oh the timing though. He yeah, looks away is. right as he has the air. catch them. That nade is not gonna be bring them down. Oh boy, the timing might work out. Oh, oh, the trade comes in the Yeah, that was a kill feed right there. That was, yeah, a, that was a massacre. That was an absolute yeah. massacre. <laughs> I mean, good god. Yeah, it's tough, because even when they have that little break there, that can be kind of mess with momentum either way. Uh, but it's it's clear that uh, DSU is ready and stand on their toes. Definitely. Yeah. It's, I mean, you know, the rank disparity is a thing. It, it definitely is, is true. I mean, it's tough, but if you uh, set up the right plays uh, and position yourself to succeed, I mean, it's... Definitely doable. Uh, Definitely. It's, uh, it's one of those I mean, you, you where definitely it's, know it's... MSUM's got the communication. Like it's it's there. It's just I think setting up some of their plays and kind of entering uh, into sites right now is just kind of struggle. And that's something that they'll know that they they're gonna have to work on to uh, in the future for sure. Because I think they're just kind of waiting in A and DSU's playing really patiently and they're. You know, they're utilizing defense to their advantage, so not not giving them much. I'm planning something here on the A site, but it's just set up. Yeah, DSU. that's four hostile detected. That's going to, that's all the information DSU is going to need to start rotating around through. And slowly but surely people are going to start pushing through our spawn. You want to fight it? Happen. Yeah, the pinch is going to come through. Well, they have left mid unprotected. So if we were to kind of rotate, Spike down it might, but a. now it's... it's everybody's remains. flanked and that is tough. Just unfortunate for Carl is he's in a 1v4, but... I think, give, you know, not enough left. time. I think MSUM has the, the right idea. Right, I guess, you know, mindset as far as getting stuff. It's just... I think they're playing a little too slow. I, I'm, I'm being a little critical right now, but, I mean, clearly that's exactly what happened. They just kind of yeah. ran the clock down. Just ran the uh, clock down. They're not, uh, they're not able to enter these sites. Failed to make a decision at mm -hmm. a very important time, and I feel like... Maybe one person just needs to step up and and just be like I'm I'm going into sight and they everybody will kind of soon follow. Uh, that's tough to to work because I think they they really are just playing for picks before they enter sites and DSU is giving them nothing. And maybe as the the rounds start kind of ticking up, uh, then maybe DSU will get a little bit more aggressive and then things might change. But they're really playing patient. Just kind of forcing these guys to, to enter in sight, and by the time they do, it's usually a little bit too late into the round to make much happen. That was a great shot. Oh, he looks for two. <gasps> Gotta find it. That jet. Oh my gosh. Definitely have information for now. One enemy remaining. And now they know where last is. So that's tough. Well, this Zach does get one, but he's find you. quickly that's probably spot. gonna get flashed and traded. Team Ace. Team Ace. Lunchbox with an ace. Seven to nothing. And uh, this isn't close. Obviously, MSUM is more than likely missing Sherpa at this point. Sherpa was a very integral part of their Anyone last feeling match. Generous? But they your luck. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I mean, even then, I think uh, there's a lot of different things you could kind of do and set up. Uh, if you're not used to your roster, I mean, that's part of just kind of understanding how you want to play a map uh, maybe beforehand and, and really kind of communicating. But, I mean, MSUM is going to have a lot to work on, and I think they definitely know what to work on. So, 
I, I think clearly for me it's it's usually just kind of how they're entering sites and right now they're kind of split up a little more than they usually are but i am often seeing you know four or five people stacked up just kind of waiting on a site and here it's a little oh, split the timing. so oh boy now they are they're getting a little more aggressive on dsu for one oh the stun oh the stun hits all Spike four down oh boy that is a Flawless. Another flawless, that, dude. The timing is just impeccable. They were really... Actually, the first time the DSU was pushing way outside of A site, and they were ready for it. It was just kind of an unfortunate setup. Uh, kind of caught them off guard, but that was probably the first time when they had a kind of a split offense there, so it could have could have uh, gone either way on, on either A or B, and maybe something could have stemmed from that. Eight nothing. Uh, it's getting dicey. Curious as to what lunchbox is doing. Ever seen? Trying to get some. Ah, looks some wall bangs at B. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it. Uh, gotta find some picks. Unfortunately, the entries have been really, really. Just gotten really bad timing. Is. It's another shots. A menace, that's for sure. Oh boy. More information gained. And now DSU is definitely pushing up in the spawns of MSUM. But uh, that being said, Zach and Carl are still kind of way back, so they're going to hold people from mid. Carl, it's a snipe. Dang, it's and two. it's another snipe. Oh boy. But lunchbox, oh boy, the timing could be impeccable. Oh my god, he ran mid! He ran back mid! They are gonna get this down. On the A site, it's a 3v2. Spike down A. As I say that, aren't gonna get this down. It's a 30 seconds for Carl, who is in a very, very tough spot. And they are getting a little aggressive at DSU now, which. But they definitely have a, a split, so they're not going to channel that, and they're just going to let the clock run down here. Ten I think Carl left. might just play for his op. Yeah, looks to me like that's what's happening. They're going to chase this. They, he might find a... Oh, he misses Unfortunate. It. Loses the operator as well. It looks like the stack is moving towards A and mid again. Um, and it looks like DSU is more set up for that kind of uh, mid mid push. With they got three angles covered, and of course their lunchbox can Ooh, definitely push Carl their B. Again. He's been Thanks. he's been lethal. Yeah, for sure. That's I think now he might have a chance to pick lunchbox if he decides to push their B, but it looks like he's slowly moving, so that this angle might might work. Hey, lunchbox might fight into this sight line. Uh, he's getting pushed from his right, unfortunately, though. Oh, yeah. oh on the flank! And now they're really going to have to they got one coming up behind a site and two already in. Unfortunately, a 3k comes in through. Oh boy. It's really tough because they are playing as, as patiently as possible on their offensive rounds here. But uh, the picks just aren't going their way and their their entries in a site are just, uh, it's, it's definitely a challenge. Definitely the tie bigs. Not good for them. They've been getting yeah. flanked through mid a, a ton on offense, especially. Looks to be a B hit. Kill all your opponents. Right yeah, now. And you see the the light machine gun coming out from lunchbox. Oh and... boy. Well, I know say that lunchbox was... is here. It's... Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. One enemy remaining. And already yeah. it's Spike only down, down to beat. Carl. Standing ahead. And he just sprays gonna come through. through the... Oh my gosh, he just sprays through the wall. Flawless. They are definitely set up for that one, and Last round Munchbox has half. always been, uh, been B-Sight, you know, and it's going right back. That's, uh, definitely, they, they have a setup that, uh, they've kind of been, been true to, where they're gonna have one B, and kind of three watch in mid and one A, and then right there's here. some rotates, but, uh, that's definitely working for them. And now you kind of see MSUM's really just sitting in their spawns because they're really trying to play the aggression on DSU, probably. <laughs> they're trying a little to, bit more of a mid, mid A hit. They're trying to they're, force the, the ah. issue. So they're trying to find some sort of pick as Narwhal finds a pick, but Billy right back on the chipper. And yeah. It's going to four Four piece. Good kill from Zach, but he's got help from Carl. Oh, he's gonna get picked. He didn't react Spike in down time. Mid. You are powerless. Oh boy. Oh, Carl trades it. 3v2. Edge out to 3v2. They wrong. are gonna resurrect one player. Oh my gosh. Lunchbox. I have the information and it's just. It's tough. I mean, Carl, the, the setup, but Carl finally does make his way through. Carl, though, might find a timing here. Lunchbox has not turned around. Carl, all five and one. It's a 2v1. They're looking for their first round. 30 seconds left. It's a 2v1. He does have Disaster. a monster. It's going to go down on B. One enemy remaining. It's a 1v1 Spike now. Planted. A real 1v1. Need that back. Carl's going to drop it on B. Let's see what kind of timing it's stop to play the corner uh, smoke what's carl have carl he does hears. hear that drop down he doesn't look carl might find this carl does and finally they're it's on the board just a we will not play have for sure paid off there for carl we will not have a, a perfect yeah. map let's bring it back Carl no, finds I think maybe it. that's just something they need to, to ensure that they can kind of come back from even if they don't win this this map or this series I think that's something to that, that was a big round uh, just to kind of show you know we're we're still here uh, to I will say though this map is very is is more I'd say it's more difficult on on offense it's obviously with the the lanes yeah, it's very I, tough. I definitely it's, see it's that. It's very yeah. tough. You can see through the middle of the map, you have two optional, three actually almost optional flanks. So if you're hitting a side like we were talking about, you can be caught very easily on a bit of a quick flank. Is ESU is kind of split. Carl might find timing. Oh, no. he will win that. Recalling my box. That's not one you want to give up. Uh, looks like they're definitely got into sight here, and we have four v two. We got normal. mid, mid, and spawn kind of, but that that setup on sight's looking pretty nasty. Got enough eyes to watch. Oh, Narwhal wins it. That's a good win. Oh, oh they don't find Zeon though. That would have been a huge kill. Narwhal is last. Gonna find one. Good for two. Maybe. Carl knows where this asteroid is, but does not know where the no where the Silva is. Oh boy, the call is gonna be coming in. Oh, and Lunchbox shoots him through the wall. Lunchbox is just, just obsessed with wall bangs. <laughs> apparently, I, it's it's really the only thing he's he's been doing. It's just unreal. I mean, for sure, if you're a Silva, that's definitely the uh, the strategy. Uh, running those uh like those. LMGs and shooting through walls and with those sensor darts, it's, it's the way to go. Yeah, definitely, if you have the ability to see where your you know, opposing player is, it's <laughs> very, very 
It's a little bit of a different setup on uh, defense, and I think that might actually benefit them because they're really waiting for a site, and it's definitely an A push. It is. It's coming in hot. Oh boy, two dead. Tacto with his shotgun might find something. The timing doesn't work out. Oh, he finds one, but he's gonna get traded out 2v5, 2v4, excuse me. Gibber finds one. That's a big kill. Master misses the shots! He's gonna find Gibber. Jaguar trades it, but that will do it. Attackers win. Yeah, definitely, I think what something they learned from there is I mean, that push in A site was. You know, four players just running in with abilities and uh, taking the site by force there, especially when they know. And then there's numbers because you got, you know, two other players that are not able to play defense on that site because they're either mid or watching B. Uh, it's it's uh, it's tricky. It, it, to, it can be tough to kind of kind of watch when they're, you know, the setups. But uh, there's definitely uh, some stuff to be learned here. Definitely. Um... This is my and my first casting Valorant, so yeah, same here. Still, still same some here. things to learn, but uh, nevertheless, congratulations to DSU. They will take this match in games, and uh, still, still an, a valiant effort. I would say a, a valiant effort put out, and I definitely will unlikely look to cast Valorant. To uh, still lots to learn for everybody involved and. I think that I think MSU would would uh, like to you know, have Sherpa back. I feel like Sherpa would have made a big difference in this game. Just another, mm -hmm. you know, another player that can find kills and find opening kills, especially such a good player at at uh, opening up the map. And I feel like that, that op it, those it openers really. I feel like they missed yeah. those openers. The the it really helped them propel them through many rounds, and uh, it's just unfortunate. Yeah, I, I mean, I really think that could have been, you know, a one-player difference if somebody were to kind of enter into those sites because they they really are waiting for those picks, and DSU was playing really smart and not giving them anything on their defense, which was tough because I think it might have been better uh, if MSUM threw on defense, uh, at least on ascent. Um, that would have been pretty helpful for them. Uh, but, uh, you know, I think there's definitely a lot to learn for them, and I think they'll probably get some better... Uh, offensive setups in the future uh, and i think that's that's a big thing that they're going to take away from this i think you can look at this you know it's something you can watch back especially learn what you know what other players oh, yeah. are doing use use their exactly. strategies to, to your advantage really i think that's possibly mm -hmm. probably the best thing that you can do but uh yeah nevertheless yeah, no. proud get of some, these people good no ideas. matter what yeah yeah no that's uh there were some good some good rounds and some definitely they were fighting hard for these uh it was just a lot of unfortunate timings and maybe not quite the, the setups that they needed but uh oh this is good good series good series and uh dsu will take that uh again to two to zero uh, so i think that's about it for valorant uh yeah and uh I, all i have to say is uh tune in to tomorrow which and yeah, we'll have Monday. league of legends Monday league of night. Legends. We'll, have league, we'll have a rocket league match actually for uh our other league which is uh, uh nac or nace star league the man you heard tonight rat will be actually playing and grant will be casting that match so definitely check that out but uh any final thing you want to say why no i think uh I mean, definitely a learning experience as a caster for sure, uh, but uh, this was fun. This was definitely fun. That, I think uh, uh, that's that, a wrap for me. That, yeah, definitely. That will do it. Um, I just want to thank everybody for watching tonight, uh, watching Rocket League, watching Valorant. Um, you know, everybody, we're, we're still working on, on you know, getting better. We're, we're playing as much as possible. Uh, I... This, this does not deter from that. The grind is still on, and uh, we'll see everybody later. All right, see you later.